Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Norway, a country full of natural wonders, fresh mountain air, the wonderful fjords, coastal islands, plenty of villages, and a year-round destination. So if you've never been to the country before, let's take a look at 10 beautiful places to visit in Norway. Number one, Ålesund. Scattered over a row of islands on the western coast of Norway, Ålesund is a thriving fishing town that following a huge fire in 1904, was rebuilt in a beautifully colorful Art Nouveau style. The town is spread over seven islands, intersected with charming waterways and surrounded by the sea and mountains in the background. So you can soak up the town's unique atmosphere before heading out on one of those guided tours of the fjords. So don't miss the breathtaking Geiringer Fjord for those gorgeous photo opportunities, which comes right next. Number two, Gairanga Fjord. Often considered Norway's jewel in the crown. Surrounded by majestic mountain peaks, steep cliffs and cascading waterfalls, the fjord extends more than 100 kilometers inland from Ålesund on the west coast. steep mountains and the glittering lake, it's an impressive 15 kilometers long while the fjord itself is 260 meters deep. You'll be able to see the Seven Sisters, the Suta and the Bridal Veil vale, which are impressive waterfalls. One of the many highlights include the Eagle Road, where you can catch a magnificent view of the fjord itself. So a visit here is definitely the highlight of your trip to Norway. Number three, Bergen. Bergen is now the second largest city in Norway. The rainy but beautiful city which was apparently the inspiration for the Hmm, fictional hit Disney animation, Frozen. Sick of that song. But the picturesque city is one of the prettiest. And it's absolutely peppered with medieval buildings, Norwegian churches, and those colourful timber houses. So it's a laid back place with a selection of good museums, some quirky independent stores, plenty of cafes, and its biggest draw is its status as being the gateway to the famous fjords. Number four, Trondheim. It may not seem like Trondheim is a large city compared to those you have seen elsewhere in the world, but in Norway, it's actually the third and the once capital of Norway. Now what's interesting here is that there are several historical and great landmarks, including the medieval Nidaros Cathedral and the robust fortress, both of which have tours available through those various organizations, which I will put in the links in the description below. 
but overall the city has tons of character, complete with old traditional Norwegian buildings and some stunning cafes in the old part of town particularly. But that fortress though, Kristiansand. Norway's fifth largest city lies at the country's southern tip. It's a lively beachside town with very good ferry connections to Denmark. Attracting more than 900,000 visitors a year, this location is more of a family destination as it focuses on activities and attractions for families. It has a gigantic zoo and a large amusement park at a cost. But the old town, otherwise known as Porsebien, has these white wooden houses that you should explore, with plenty of local independent shops and local treats like the ice cream bars. So this is great for families as the ice cream is locally produced by Henning Olsen since 1924. So you have a choice of either exploring the town on foot, enjoying the largest theme parks, or taking a boat trip and going island hopping. Number 6. Lofoten Islands This scenic, unspoiled archipelago is one of Europe's best kept secrets but one of the most important natural gems to explore in Norway. Though the collections of islands lie within the Arctic Circle, they are blessed with warmer temperatures due to the Gulf Stream. It's a beautifully traditional place where life is simple and tourism kept to quite a minimum. This is where whale watching and spectacular walks and sceneries await. So there are plenty of activities that you can do in this area, such as stay in a cosy fisherman's cabin or surrounded by blue waters and unspoiled mountain landscapes, all that have to be seen to be believed. So hopefully one day you'll be able to experience this area of the photo. Number 2. Prehistol Formed more than 10,000 years ago and the most iconic natural landmark in Norway. From the top of the 604 meters high cliff, you will find the most dramatic views that any fjord in Norway has to offer. The hike is of moderate difficulty and in total, the 8 km hike takes around 4 to 5 hours round trip. The trail, which has significant shifts in the terrain, includes swamplands and forests and stone stairways, all built by Nepalese Sherpas. But the interest in Prehistoren is extremely high, with more than 300,000 nature loving hikers that visit the renowned rock formation every year. But please be warned, make sure that you realize that it is a four hour hike and try to go with a guide. It's highly recommended and your best option. Norway is full of fjords. But one of the most dramatic and beautiful 
is Nido Furo. It's actually a branch of the Songhena Fjord, Norway's longest fjord, and is on UNESCO's World Heritage List. It's one of the narrowest in Europe and is surrounded by soaring mountains. So taking a trip down the Nidal Fjord, by boat or kayak, you'll get up close to stunning nature including the waterfalls and look up to see the tiny mountains farms above you. A great place for wildlife watching where you might get to see some eagles or dolphins or seals but overall a very tranquil place. Next up is Flum. The impossibly pretty village of Flum located in the fjord southwestern Norway is one of the best regions to explore in the country. It's home to museums that truly showcase and highlight the history of the city and as a visitor you'll be able to go on an explorative journey with the Flum Railway which will show you the city in a way that walking just can't. The railway runs through one of the wildest landscapes in the whole of Norway and it's been called the best train journey in the world. And finally, you cannot go to Norway without visiting Oslo. Now Oslo is a top city break destination was expensive but still if you have just a few days to visit Norway and you're flying into one of Oslo's airports I would advise you to spend just a day here and then visit some of the other places on this list. But even the capital is beautiful and an increasingly popular place to visit in the country. Oslo is clean, laid back, surrounded by beautiful fjords and acres of woodland. So the architecture is a mix of old and new, but this underrated city boasts some really world-class museums. So like any city, it has something for everyone. But don't forget to check out the cafes. Some seriously good tasting brews. <laughs> 